Hey there, YouTubers. This is Dayton Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. This lesson, we're finally getting around to doing some custom user forms. This is going to be exciting, but it's going to be uh, uh, quite an undertaking. I mean, there's there's just a, a billion and one different things you can do with the user form. So I'm going to need some input. Go ahead and write your comments down uh, below this video. And just tell me what you're wanting to accomplish, and that'll uh, help me out a lot in kind of fixing up some scenarios as to what would be useful to you guys in your actual day-to-day -day lives or at your work or whatever. Give me some examples of what you do with them, because I know what I do at my job with them. Uh, doing reports, uh, running exports and imports and all kinds of crazy fun things like that, opening files, setting file locations... But, um, you know, I want to know what, what you guys are thinking. So anyway, let's get to our objectives. Number one, we're going to make a user form. Real easy. Number two, we're going to make a button on our user form, which is super easy. Then we're going to hide the user form when the button is pressed. Also, extremely easy. We're going to get started Alt F11 to get our Visual Basics menu up, our editor up here. Uh, we already have user form one here. We, you may have seen in one of our earlier videos, but we're going to make a new one. Click here and click on User Form. And so there's our new one. It's automatically called User Form 2. But I believe if we hit F4, that'll bring up our Properties menu and we'll give it a custom name here. Let's call it um, Hide Form. You can call it anything you want. I'll call it the Hide Form because our objective right now is just to hide it. So, Objective 1. That was super easy, right? What about this little thing that says user form 2? Let's get rid of that right off the bat. That's our caption. Let's just say, click the button to hide! Exclamation mark. And you notice as I type even, it'll say that up here. Also, you may have noted, when I clicked anywhere on the user form, it brought up the toolbox. If you don't see it, go to View. Click on Toolbox, and there's your Toolbox. It's pretty handy. It's got all the things that we've seen in ActiveX controls and a little bit more. Um, so, let's go ahead and add a button that's right here, a Command button. And I could single click, and it would automatically give me this custom size, or I could have dragged it. Let's go ahead and click here. You can see that I can click and start typing the caption of the button, and it will follow as I start typing. So click to hide. And then you see the captions following along the button. Let's make the button a little bigger since our user form is all about this button. And heck, let's make the back color... Make the back color red. Click to hide. Make the font a little bigger and bolder. By clicking here on the font. Bold. Let's make it 14. Click to hide. Bam. Alright, now, our last objective, as you can see here, is to hide the user form when the button's pressed. Well, we haven't even activated the user form. We can do that. We can run a quick test on this user form by clicking the Run Sub User Form, hitting F5. There's your user form right here, floating around on the page. And uh, you could be... You notice you can't click anywhere on the worksheet. You can't hear what I'm hearing, but it's going ding, 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 ding. All right, you can't click anywhere. There's a way to fix that, but uh, the only thing, if I click this button, it doesn't do anything. If I click this, uh, it will close the user form. It won't keep my place if I had if I had a place. This is such a simple user form. But uh, click out of here. Let's double click on our button here. Double click. Oops. Oops. Double click. Okay. So there's a command button one dot click. Uh, actually, I take that back. Let's go to our hide form. Let's give this button a name. We'll call it BTN, BTN Hide. Okay. I like to label everything because later when I'm looking at code and I'm referring to these things, I want it to be super easy for you me to remember. Double click on that. Now you see the button hide underscore click is the event that we're doing now. So it reveals the actual control, the button that we're using. When we click it, what do we want to do? We want to take hide form, that's the name of our user form, hide form dot hide. Okay? That's the command. Uh, whatever your user form's name is, dot hide. And that will hide it. 
it'll keep whatever its current status is. If you had something selected from a selection menu or whatever, it would keep that rather than clicking the X or unloading the user form. We're just going to hide it. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit the F5 button to run our user form. And if we click this button, it will run that code and it's hidden it. Alright, that's pretty much it. It's real simple. Thanks for watching.